This video explains how to get the current year, month and day using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a very first step for this tutorial, we need to import date from daytime, as you can see in the first line of code. And then in the next step, we have to use the today function to extract the current date that we have right now. So after running this line of code, a new data object called myDate is created. And if we print this date using the print function, you can see that currently we have the 2nd of October 2022. Now we can also extract the components of this date separately, as I will show you in the following lines of code. So if we want to extract only the year of this date, then we can apply the year attribute, as you can see in the next line of code. And in this case, I'm specifying the name of our date object that we have created before. And then I'm using the year attribute to extract the year from this date object. And I'm assigning this year to a new data object that I'm calling current year. And then I'm also using the print function to print the current year below the code box. So as you can see, after running these lines of code, we have extracted the value 2022, which is the current year. Similar to that, we can also extract the current month from our date object, as you can see in the fourth code box. So the difference compared to the previous code is that this time we are using the month attribute to extract only the month from our date object. So after running these lines of code, the value 10 is returned, which is the current month. So currently it is October. Last but not least, we can also extract the day from our date object, as you can see in the fifth code box. And for this, we need to use the day attribute. And as in the previous examples, I'm storing the day in a new data object that I'm calling current day. And then I'm printing this value below the code box. So as you can see right now is the 2nd of October. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.